Hi, Terry here. I'm making this video because I have something I really want to share, and every time I put it in words, it just seems so harsh. So I thought perhaps I can get the message across and not sound so harsh if I, if I do it this way. You know, I, I'm on Facebook, and, and I don't know about you, but I look to go through my, you know, every time I get on, I'll glance through my, my news feed, and I'm just blown away at the number of people who, well, it's the best way I can say it, are airing their dirty laundry on Facebook. I don't understand why people share some of the things they do. It's not going to fix the situation. It's not going to help the situation. And it's not going to help you feel better about the situation. Um, you know, the, the truth is that everybody has trouble in their lives. And the more you focus on the trouble, the more trouble you're going to have. Um, and that's, it's just a true statement. I, I get that the people who probably most need to hear this message aren't going to hear it because until we're ready to hear something, it just doesn't settle into our minds, and into our hearts. But, you know, I just kind of want to use a little bit of an example that um, one of my mentors, I've got a, had a lot of mentors in my life. And one of my mentors, John, John Addison, um, used to say, and I, I heard him say it multiple times, that, you know, people come off with this, oh, it's a disaster. It's a calamity. It's just this horrible thing. You know, and it's a flat tire. It's, um, I lost $20 on my way home. And I get it. That might be your last $20, but I promise you, it doesn't have to be the last $20 you ever had. You know, my child broke their leg. Now, none of us want their kids to have heartache and be hurting, but let's put things into perspective. And, and the way that, that, that um, John Addison had a way of putting it into perspective is, is anyone dead or dying as a result of this calamity or this disaster? And if the answer is no, then it's not a disaster, it's a situation. And then to take it a step further, is there something we can, can we, can we correct the situation by changing what we're doing? And if that's the case, then it's really even just a matter of time. It's a matter of a decision and a matter of time. You know, what he really actually said was that if, you know, if, if, if no one's dead or dying as a result of this, and you can write a check to fix it, then it's really not a problem at all. It's not a situation at all. It's just an inconvenience. And the challenge comes that, you know, we get the disaster out of the way and we're looking at the situation. Can we fix it by changing something that we're doing? You know, if we can't write a check to change it, you know, let's say you wreck your car, a deer front runs in front of your car and, and, and you, you wreck your car. I mean, for some people that just ruins their whole month. But the truth is, if you can write a check to replace that car, is it really a problem? No, it's just an inconvenience and just kind of pisses you off, right? Um, but the reality is we pour so much energy into those things that, and we keep beating the drum about it. And the more we take that in energy and the more we, we beat the drum about the situation and the bad thing, the way that the universe wronged us, the more of that we're going to attract. So it's really, really critical that you're aware of what you're saying and what you're feeling and what you're sharing because you share it with someone and then they say, oh yeah, and then they drag up the worst thing that ever happened to them and then they start thinking about that and, and soon you're creating waves and waves and waves of, of negative, helpless behavior and, 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 and people tend to be stuck when they get there and the, the challenge is coming unstuck. And so, you know, if you're in you know, a situation obviously where you got to, something happens and you can't write a check to fix it. It's something that can make you, you know, can get to your heart and it can get to your feeling. It feels to attack your character. But again, that's just a decision. If, if that's, if you're in a situation where small things come your way and they feel like disasters because you're stuck and you don't have options. The truth is you do have options. It's just a matter of deciding that you want to change where you are um, my mentor, Jim Rohn, used to say, you know, you're not a tree. You do not have to stay where you're planted. If you're not in a good situation, move beyond that situation. But don't drag everybody down with you when you do it. And don't beat the drum and keep telling everybody how bad it is and how wronged you are. Because that's just creating a victim mentality. And that's not healthy for you and it's not healthy for anyone around you. You know, I have a daughter who's special needs. And that puts me into a community where children die all the time. Now, the truth is, should children die all the time? No. Is that a, is that a, a, a good environment for, good environment, that's not what I mean to say. That's not something any of us hope for in our lives, but it is a true statement. It's true. 
And so because of that, I look at things a little bit differently. I'm very grateful. My daughter's 15 years old. They told me I wouldn't have even a few seconds with her. And if I did, I certainly wouldn't have more than a day or two. You know, a situation like that really helps you put things into perspective. Now, do I see that as a disaster? No, people pass me by and they look, I know people, I can feel the energy coming at me. People look at me and go, oh my gosh, I feel so bad for that mom. And the truth is there is nobody that needs to feel bad for me. I am very fortunate. I am very blessed and I'm very lucky because in my community, the truth is most people would give their eye teeth to have my situation and have my daughter that's 15 years old instead of having to go to the cemetery to visit their children and having to honor them through balloon releases and lighting of candles. They would certainly much rather be tucking them into bed. So I just ask you, as you're, look, as, you're, as you're sharing your life with Facebook and the world, please think twice. Think about, is this really something that is going to bring anybody up? Is this really going to, is this information going to enhance anyone's life? And if it's not, share it with a handful of friends that you need, because we all need support. We all need people in our lives that we can tell those things to, that we can vent and we can rant and we can rave and just go on and on for a short time. But then it's time to, to basically stand up straight, move forward, and do something to solve the situation. The more you talk about the problem, you're not focusing on the fix. So, you know, I hope I haven't offended anybody. My guess is the people that really need to hear this haven't heard it. But if I can affect one person's life through sharing this message, then it's been worth my time today. So I appreciate it. If you would like to, to hear you know, more positive and, and, and have more positive coming into your email box, click on the link below and join my email list because I share these kind of things with, with, with my readers all the time. It's just an important thing to remember always that your mindset matters, how you, how you think matters, what you say matters, because all of it affects how you feel and how you feel attracts to you the lifestyle and the life that you're going to have. Appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye for now.